Hey guys, thank you for watching. I have to apologize if like the lighting is a little off or if you can actually hear the rain that's going on, but I film in front of a window. It's raining right now. It's also, oh, 5.30 at night, but I just wanted to film for you guys. So today's video, I'm going back to my top five series and I'm actually going to share with you my top five favorite foundations. I have high-end and I also have drugstore foundations to share with you. Now I'm not going to go in order of like which one I love more than the other. Um, I haven't really thought that out. However, I will start with my Holy Grail product. But before I share my favorite foundations with you, I did just kind of want to tell you like a little bit about why I was inspired to film this video and I actually had the pleasure of meeting Desi and Katie from Luster Lux yesterday. I don't know when this video is going to go up um, because I do have a lot of videos filmed for you, but they are currently in the process of doing their squad tour and they came to Houston yesterday and I was able to go and um, I waited three and a half hours. I got there right at six, which was the start time. There was already a super long line. I met some girls that I didn't know before in the line and we just started talking and we almost didn't make it. I mean, we made it all the way up to the front. They were supposed to end at nine, but they started just kind of like rushing people in. In the beginning, they were like talking and taking pictures, but toward the end, so that they could try to get as many people to take photos with them as possible, we were really rushed. So I literally just got to like run in there, hug them and run back out. But I was still so excited to meet them because I love Desi and Katie and I follow them on Snapchat. And I just think it's awesome that they're doing a squad tour and meeting their fans. Um, but I was inspired to create a top five foundation video because Desi did talk about her favorite foundations recently in one of her videos. And I was like, you know what? Let's go back into the top five series. I got to see Desi and Katie yesterday. So let's talk foundations. Starting with my number one holy grail foundation, it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and I'm in the shade 3.0. Now I really love this foundation, but I do want to say that it is more light to medium coverage. That's what I prefer. I have dry skin, I like a little bit on the lighter side, I'm not like heavy full face the foundation so I really enjoy this I'm sure that you could build it up to more of like a medium full coverage but I don't know that you could really get a hundred percent full coverage with this but I feel like it just goes on the skin so smooth this is my second bottle and this is the foundation if I don't know like what I'm going for this is the foundation I would grab it just lasts all day it's really comfortable on the skin and it's been a holy grail for a while and so this is my number one favorite foundation and another one of my favorite foundations would be the Too Faced Born This Way foundation now I'm in the shade warm nude and this is a foundation that I totally got when it was like hyped up on YouTube and I really enjoy it this definitely is more full coverage than the Urban Decay Naked Skin I usually have to mix this with like a face oil um, just because I have such dry skin and this isn't drying but I find that it works better when I mix it with an oil it just goes on smoother and just makes my face look really flawless so if I was going to do like a night out or a date night and I wanted a little bit more of a full coverage look then this is the foundation I would go for next up is technically not a foundation but I'm gonna throw it in here anyway it is my it cosmetics CC cream with SPF 50 this was a more recent purchase for me and I'm really glad that I happened to pick this up in summer because I live in Texas I did a lot of traveling SPF is so important for your skin and so I've been using this guy a lot lately and it's become a quick favorite of mine to be a CC cream it has really good coverage I wouldn't say full coverage but it's definitely medium coverage it goes on the skin nicely it lasts all day it doesn't dry my skin out and it provides me with SPF so this is a foundation that I would go for if I knew that I was going to be doing something outside and I wanted to give my skin some extra protection from the Sun moving into drugstore foundations 
One is actually an empty that I've been holding on to. I haven't repurchased it yet, but I wanted to remember my shade. And it is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous in the shade 832. Now this is empty. I used it up completely and I've just been saving the bottle so that when I do go to repurchase it, I know my shade. But this is a foundation that I really loved. As you can see, I used it up completely. This was more of a medium to full coverage. It went on the skin really smooth. It's supposed to be like a primer foundation and concealer in one, but I did use primer and concealer. However, this left my skin very flawless and it didn't dry it out. It didn't look cakey and it lasted all day. So this is one that I will be repurchasing. And my fifth and final foundation is another new purchase for me. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, again with SPF 15. This is another foundation that I've been wearing all summer. It gives me the SPF protection that I need. It gives me a nice, healthy glow. And I've just been really enjoying this. I'm in the shade 203 Nude Beige. Again, this is another foundation that I would grab if I knew that I was going to be doing something outside. It doesn't sit cakey on my face. It blends out smoothly, evenly, it lasts all day, and it was just another drugstore hit for me. That's it. This was a quick video, as my top five series videos tend to be. But list some of your favorite foundations down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.